So it's official. Kid Cudi officially reveals track list to enter Galactic, which he's saying isn't a soundtrack to his brand new Netflix show that he's voice acting and creating. It's like a live action animation, kind of the same characteristic as the Spider-Verse, at least animation wise. And people are saying that it's a soundtrack, but like the cover art of it, if you look at the cover art, it's the exact same cover art as pretty much the, the poster of the show Intergalactic. But anyways, Kid Cudi reveals a track list for his upcoming album, Intergalactic. And I'm gonna read out the track list. On another note, he's beefing with Kanye West about Pete Davidson, friendship, whatever. They've been going back and forth, this and that. I'm pretty sure all of you guys heard about all that bullshit and everything about it, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, Kanye West leakers end up leaking the whole album last week. And you wouldn't believe how savage Kanye West fans really are. So on every single track on the leak project Intergalactic, they put fart noises in between every four bars. So it definitely does sound like shit. It sounds like a fart, it sounds like ass. So Kanye West fans have, you know what I mean? No mercy at all. And I'm not gonna lie, I tried checking out just cause I heard there was fart noises on it and <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. Kid Cudi is 39 years old, an absolute legend. Pursued happiness, classic. Just so many, so many fire songs, day and night, all that shit. You know what I mean? What I Am, featuring Chirp, I think. So amazing. Kid Cudi just has fire discography, Man in the Moon 3. Honestly, I'm gonna say that's a classic, that's a fire project. But anyways, I'm gonna read out the track list of Enter Galactic. Track number one is Enter Galactic Theme. Track number two is New Mode. Number three is Do What I Want. Number three is Angel. Number four is Ignite the Love. The next track is In Love. The next track is Willing to Trust. The next track is Can't Believe It featuring 2 Chains. That should be an interesting collab with 2 Chains. I'm a little bit curious on that one. The next track is Living My Truth. The next track is Maybe So. And the other track is Can't Shake Her Fruit, featuring Ty Dolla I think that was gonna be some pure vibes. Something else I would like for this new Kid Cudi album is to have a little bit less auto-tune, because Man of the Moon 2 had a lot of auto-tune on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it does sound good on auto-tune, but it kind of sounds like he was trying to make an album that sounds like Travis Scott. Don't get me wrong, that would've been a fire Travis Scott album. I really enjoyed Man of the Moon. Three, but that's just an opinion I have, man. Next track is She's Looking For Me. The next track is My Drug. The next track is Somewhere to Fly. The next track is Bur Burrow. And yeah, that's the track list so far. I think it's gonna be a pretty fire project. Um, I'm pretty stoked just to see what the album's gonna be like, you know what I mean? And I think it's gonna be pretty fire, but yeah, let me know guys. Let me just um let me just read some comments. Someone says need fire emoji. Someone says no Kanye feature. And I know when someone says no Kanye feature, this guy's a hundred percent trolling, man. Oh god, a hundred percent trolling. Someone else says L features. Man, how is this an L feature? You got Ty Dolla Sign, Steve Lacey, two chains. Don Tolliver on Somewhere to Fly. This is a Kid Cody album. He's not trying to be like a mainstream DJ Khaled getting all these wow features ass man. Someone said no Uzi. Oh man. Shout out to my Uzi fan, Uzi fans, Uzi stands, because I'm an Uzi stand. You know how it is, man. Going up in the sky like a promised land. I'll be flying around like Peter Pan. No more drugs, I don't do no Zans. Someone else said, no Trippy Red feature, L. You know what, the Trippy Red feature in Kid Cody track, the last album was pretty fire, so. I guess I could agree with it being an L. Wish we had a Travis feature, crying emoji. You know what, I don't know why Travis Scott isn't on it. That would be fire, especially promoting his Netflix show. That will be A1, man, A1. Uh, someone else said, Kanye Beef. 
Kanye fan a beef with Don Tolliver next. <laughs> I thought it'd be pretty petty if Kanye West if he starts beefing with Don Tolliver. I think Don Tolliver is just an innocent man in this whole situation. If you know what I'm saying, man, I don't think he gives a fuck. Someone else said, Cody always got the right vibes. Hype for this. You know what? I'm kind of hyped for this too. Oh, God. Someone else said, where's Travis? Someone else said, W, but the featuring, I expected better. That's a fair opinion. Someone said, need. Someone said, Shigna had Kitty was on Ye and Cardi's album. We could at least get a feed from both of them. You know, I'm not sure Playboy Cardi would fit on this album. I think he's going for more like an alternative album. It's kind of a pink sky, pink vibes with this intergalactic soundtrack. But I think Kanye West definitely would. It's just too bad they're beefing. Because kids see ghosts. That's a classic, man. Someone else said, bro, where's the song with Juice? You know that, that Juice Road Kid Cudi song that leaked? I don't think it's meant to really say, or I don't think it's really meant to see the light of day. It just got leaked, you know what I mean? Someone said, where's Young Thug? Man, why would someone say, where's Young Thug? He's locked up, man. And since when did Kid Cudi and Young Thug collab? Let me know in the comments, because I really don't know. When they collabed, man. Maybe I'm just blind. <laughs> 